Hello everyone. Welcome to Classitals Academic Reading Matching senten Sentence Ending Session. In this lesson, I will be your teacher. I am glad to see you here. We are one, two, three, four, five. Not bad. Let me share my screen with you so we can start slowly. Hello. Let me find it. Yes, it is that one. Oh, I haven't tried it. First, I'm going to share with you some tips, strategies, and how we will solve this question type. Then I have some passages for you, one from section one and one from section two. Yes, passage one and passage three questions. As you may know, passage uh, we have three reading passages in the IELTS reading. The first one is the easiest one, and they are getting harder as you pr proceed in the text. So the first one is the easiest. The third one is the most difficult one. You can see this kind of questions in every part of the exam, like the, in the section one, section two, and section three, as you will see here. Yes. Let me share the question format with you. In this question type, you will be given the beginning of a sentence and you will match them with the given sentence endings like that one. One of the having hearts research and you are going to write a letter, the end of the sentence from here. The, 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 the very important part of it, you are required to write letters. You are not going to write the end of the sentence. You are going to write just letters. This is very important. Students lose uh, points because of this part, even if you know the true answer. Yes. The first half, the first part, can be a whole sentence in itself, or it can be merely a subject, like the one of the one of the research, for example. Usually, usually there are six questions and nine options, so there are more options than the sentence given. Most of the time, each option can be used only once. On, unless the instructions state otherwise. Please read the question very carefully. The question will tell you what to, uh, what to do. Yes, let me share you some tips. The first one will be the hardest because it will be the most difficult to answer because there will be many options, and when you choose one of them, you will eliminate them, so you will have less option as you proceed. Uh, it can take longer time to answer the first question. Do not worry, it will get easier as you proceed. Do not match a question and an answer until you are sure, because maybe it, it can turn into a chain reaction, and you can uh, you can end up the matching them wrong, matching all of them wrong. If you are unsure, skip the question. Skip the question and come back to it later. Answer every question because you won't lose point because of because of a wrong answer. Uh, but if you don't answer that question, you will lose point for sure. Uh, grammars in the questions should be matched with each other. We will look at them in detail. And do not only rely on the grammar to answer the questions. The meaning is important. What is given to you at the passage is important because they will trick you in this way. Do not apply the general knowledge while answering to questions. Do not try to predict the answers without reading the texts. 
Uh, there will be few endings that make sense but cannot be found in the text. If there are any, look at the linking words and think about how they connect two sentences in terms of meaning. So meaning and grammar are my two important key points here. Grammar and meaning. Yes, let's see the strategy. Do not read the text or the endings first. Read the first and second questions. Choose the keywords, look for them and their synonyms and paraphrases in the text. Then read and highlight the relevant parts in the text. Then read to understand. Then read the endings and see if there is any match. Do not just find the keywords and think it's a match. This is the trap here. This is the trap in this question type. And eliminate the answers that clearly do not match. And if you can't, if you can't answer the question, just skip it and look for the next one. As you proceed, as I said, there will be less options, so you will be able to answer it more clearly. Any questions so far? Or I will proceed to my questions, my passages. I think no. Let's continue then. Okay. Yes, this is from passage one, the adolescence. Since, okay, now I am going to show you. This is matching sentence ending, matching sentence endings here, questions. Okay, so first let's, let's read the question. Complete each sentence with correct ending A to F below. Write the correct letters. Okay, let me send you the questions and the sentence endings too, so we can look for the answers together. This is for IAS Academic, passage one, academic, IAS Academic. Okay, we have one of the having hurt research something and high the high school courses, sorry, high school courses something. Then I have the adolescence is a time when young people and the development speed of thinking patterns something. Okay, let me see the keywords here. I have having hurt and research and I have high school courses these question types usually go in order so first we will see the answer for question one then we will see the answer for question two and it will continue that way but let's see i am not sure we will see it in the text okay having hurts research high school courses let me read the passage this is an this is an interactive uh, lesson, so when you see the answer, please answer it and say me, where do you see the answer? I won't read the whole text. I'm just looking for the keywords now. And my keywords are having heard research. Three states of adolescence. Leave the dependent, secure role, early adolescence, uh, early adolescence, middle adolescence, opposite sex peers, behaviors, light adolescence, something here. 
I see something here. Some years ago, Professor Robert Havinghurst of the University of Chicago proposed that stages in human development can be best be told in terms of the development tasks that are part of normal situation. Okay, he identified the 11, 11 developmental tasks associated with the adolescent transition. One development task an adolescent needs to achieve is to adjust to a new physical sense of self. At no, no other time since the birth does an individual undergo such rapid and profound psych, uh, physical changes as during er, early adolescence. Puberty marked by sudden rapid growth in height and weight. Also, the young, the young person experiences the emergence and accentuation of those physical traits that make him or her a boy or a girl. The effect of this rapid change is that young adolescents often become focused on their body. So my answer should be here because I am skimming, scanning it. I don't see anything here. Let's see. One of the one of the having her research. Now you can answer it. I will open that part part for you. Here. So you can answer it from the chat part. Pay attention to grammar and meaning. Mm, I think I see it. Anyone? What do you think for seven? We have one E. One D. <clears throat> Cyber, you are saying D because that he identified the 11, 11 development tasks associated with adolescence transition. We have one more E. Okay. Yes, my answer is E. One of the Havik Hurst Havik research focuses on creating self-image. I understand it from here. Where is it? He identified 11 development tasks, one development tasks need to achieve is to adjust a new physical sense to self. He is talking about the puberty, getting used to self, focused on their body. So it is, it is like focuses on creating a self image. This is here they are talking about a physical self image. Let's continue. Eight is high school courses. So I will continue from here. I haven't seen anything about the high school here while I'm skimming it. High school. They are thinking. Mm. And I'll see high school in a part as a place where adolescents prepare for adult adult roles and responsibilities and in parts of the preparatory for the further education. School curricula. 
are frequently dominated by the inclusion of more abstract, demanding materials, regardless of whether the adolescents have achieved formal thought. Since not all the adolescents make the intellectual transition at the same rate, demands for abstract thinking prior to achievement of that ability may be frustrating. I think so too. The education system is weird. But I think my answer is here. High school courses, firm personal identity with a set of moral and values. High school courses are designed to be more challenging than some, some can ac accept. Pavan, if you want, you do you want to ask something? If you want, you can unmute yourself. Yes, let me see. High school courses are designed to be more challenging than some can accept. In this kind of questions, the meaning is the most important thing other than the keywords. Keywords will help you. This is a tip. This is a strategy too. Keywords will help you to locate the text, the, locate the lo uh, answer, the place of the answer, but uh, you should understand the meaning of this passage, of these two, three sentences, and you should conclude the uh, answer from the uh, list of statements. Because there are lots of paraphrasing and things. Maybe you can you can left this question type to the last that while you are doing the, for example, passage one, because meanwhile you will be reading the whole passage and you it, it will be easier to answer. Or and of course a grammar will help you. Let's continue. Uh, nine. Adolescence is a time when young people do something. And 10, the development speed of thinking patterns doing something. I don't know. Adolescence is a time when, where were we? Oh, yes, here. During adolescence, as teens develop increasing complex knowledge system and a sense of self, they also adopt an integrated set of values and morals. During the early stages of moral development, blah, blah. Hmm. Eventually, adolescents must assess the parents' values as they come into the conflict with the values expressed by peers and other segments of society. To reconcile the differences, the adolescents restructures those beliefs into a personal ideology. A, A, F. Let me see what was A. Adolescence is a time when young people form a personal identity with a set of moral and values. What was F? Adolescence is a time when young people become an extension of their parent. Extension means like the, like you can make an extension to your house and it will be a, a, a car park for you. Extension is something like, or you can ask for extension for your paper. So it is like the continuum of something, but here, they are talking about something else. They are talking about, uh, what was it? Forming a personal identity with a set of morals and values. Adolescence is a time where you, um, where you should rebel to your parents. 
read it yet. Yes, in here it is. The development of the the the, the, uh, the developmental speed of thinking patterns. Let's see, where were we? Here. Hmm. The adolescents must develop expanded verbal skills. As adolescents mature intellectually, as they face increased school demands, and as they prepare for the adult roles, they must develop new verbal skills to accommodate the more complex contexts and tasks. Their limited language of childhood is no longer adequate. Adolescents may appear less competent because of their ability to express themselves meaning meaningfully. <laughs> The adolescent must establish, establish emotional and psychological independence from his or her parents. Oh, rup, rup, rup. What do you think? I have one D. The developmental speed of thinking patterns varies from, varies from people to people. Actually, the location is somewhere here. What do you think? For me, it is here. Yes, as you can see, they may or may not be in the same order. Since not all, yes, yeah, since not all adolescents make the intellectual transition at the same rate, the means for abstract thinking prior to achievement of that ability may be frustrating. So yes, the developmental speed of thinking patterns varies from people to people. So it, I meant insert E, C, A, D. I think we are okay. And in that time, let me see. We are eliminated E, we are eliminated C, and we are eliminated A. Let me see. The development speed of thinking patterns develops a table and productive peers. No. Uh, varies from people to people. Uh, focuses on creating a self-image. The developmental speed of thinking patterns focuses on creating self-image. No, and it was already uh, eliminated. Become an extension of their parents. It can't be. So logically, my answer is D. Because the other options are eliminated already. Let's go to the next one. Artist fingerprints. This is from passage three. We will accept. We will expect more tricky questions, more trap answers. So we will pay attention. 
the fingerprints, oh, sorry, do you eat, complete the each sentence with the correct ending, A to I blow. Write the correct letter in the boxes, five to nine. What, why is it five to nine? I don't know. The fingerprints in the ancient pottery, something, the signs of fingerprint identification and the auto, let me see first, these two first. The fingerprints in ancient pottery and the signs of fingerprint identification. We will look for these ones. Let me send you the um, questions so we can look at them together. Okay. When you see the answer, please let me know. Ancient pottery. Hmm. The study of ancient pottery, for example, reveals the utilization, utilization of fingerprints impressions in the clay as a marker's maker's mark. Hmm. In prehistoric time, we find an example of cans. Hmm. The fingerprint in ancient pottery. Very good. I was a little bit anxious about that you will say B, but it is very good. Okay. So my answer is D. Let me check the grammar. The fingerprints in the ancient pottery was left to identify the person who made it. Very good. And I, and I understand it from this thing. The study of ancient pottery, for example, reveals the utilization of fingerprints, impressions, impressions in the clay as a maker's mark. In prehistoric times, we find examples of Hanscrief. Sir William established its for, for identification in blah blah, who undertook to refine and formulate someone's observation. Identification by fingerprint was first adopted in England in 1905 and received general acceptance worldwide in 1908. So maybe in this passage I will see some names and or uh, dates about the passage, but I don't know. Let me see. The science of fingerprint identification Might use fingers, no. Reveal, no. What to see was first used on Galton's mathematical assumption. Where did you see the Galton? Huh. But it says Sir William Her Herschel established its use for identification. So first it's used by not the Galtons, but it first it's used by Sir William Herschel for identification, it says. 
So what happened to Sir William Herschel? He used it too. He used the fingerprints. I think it is not C. It is something different. Identification by fingerprint was first adopted in England and received general acceptance worldwide. Very good, Zia. Very good, Vishwash. Sorry. The science of fingerprint identification has been accepted as a reliable system available. Very good. It wasn't C, it was G. Okay, the authentication of a painting without a signature. Oof. And we have landscape with rainbow. Oh, this is with the capital, so I can look for this. When painting artists... I don't know. Okay, let me see. The authentication of a painting without a signature. Mm, it will be a little bit challenging. Because I don't... The, the keywords are very vogue. Like, they are not clear. They are not dates. They are not names. They are a little bit unclear. So, I am just... Skimming the test to see the answer. Okay. No two fingers can have identical rich characteristics. Hmm. So I'm looking for a painting. They are talking about the, like, the characteristic of the finger fingerprint so this is not this uh art related fingerprint issues okay let me read it the individuality of a fingerprint is not determined by its general shape or pattern but by careful study of its rich char characteristics since at a scene of crime scene of the crime usually one partial prints are found a comparison of a relatively small number of characteristics is accepted in legal practice. <laughs> in a judi judicial proceeding, a point-by-point -point comparison must be demonstrated by fingerprint expert. This is exactly the principle that must be followed in art related fingerprint issues so as far as i understand they are taking the fingerprints and they are using the partial of them to compare them with other resource with other parts of the something as and they are doing it in the art related fingerprints issue let me read the let me continue reading it Artists in the area of the visual arts use their hands for creation. Hmm. Their tools, brush, such as brushes, isolate them from the surface when they are working on inaccurate deposits of paint are often corrected by modeling with fingertip. Some artists use the fingertips to, also, to soften the marks left by brush by gently tapping or stroking the still wet surface. In some instances, the fingertips uh, were, was used to literally stamping the fine net network of ridges, ridges onto the painting. <laughs> now, I have here landscape with rainbow, so I will look for my answer here. Very good. The aut authentication of a painting without a signature could be authenticated by comparing fingerprints from other sources.
no. Like use fingers to no. No. Yes, only this one can be put here. Let's see the next one. Landscape with rainbows and when paintings, when painting artists. Hmm. Rainbow. The painting discovered to show it to the world leading Turner experts and connoisseurs. The verdict was unanimous. The painting was a tattered imitation. <gasps> However, the fingerprint evidence was discovered, documented, re-examined. Landscape with... Hmm. A match was found between a fingerprint and landscape with rainbow and fingerprints photographs on another Turner paintings, Crystal Canal. Confirmed the conclusions that fingerprints on both paintings were identical. The unbelievers changed their minds. In addition, work alone and had no assistance. Huh. This reduced the chance of accidental contribution. The painting originally bought for a few hundred dollars finally sold for close to 200,000 at auction at Phillips in London, 1995. Nice. This is a success story for me. Hmm. Let me see. Landscape with rainbows. There are two very similar answers. Uh, endings here it is uh, yes e and f was stored at a high expense was restored at a high expense restored what do they mean here no it it is not restored it is actually was finally determined at an appropriate price so it was its appropriate price so it makes my answer well, what was it was finally determined at an appropriate price it makes my answer e okay now let me see and uh, D E is gone. G is gone. I is gone. Now I have A B C. <laughs> du, 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 du. When painting artist was first used on no, not this one. When painting artist revealed the uh, utilization of clay, no. F was finally determined at an approach. No, 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 no. I, sorry, was preserved at the Windsor collection. It is about the rainbow. Huh, Philip, okay. What do you think about the last question? Hmm. When painting artists... Sorry. When painting artists might use 
fingers to remove unwanted paint left by brushes. This is the only logical answer. What time is it? Okay. Let's see how many questions we can do next. Do you have any questions so far? Or I will continue. Okay, let's continue. It is, what do babies know? It is from the reading passage. It is from the IELTS academic reading. It is the passage three, and we will see the passage three questions now. Let's see. Jen, Jen, Jen Figuer, Figuer thinks infants younger than nine months won't know something existing and again i have the fiaget fiaget uh, then i have the sylvan stories and i have again sylvan stories so first i will look for the gen gen figure figure and thinks that infants younger than nine months one won't know something existing something let's look for the keywords daniel harvard Daniel, Daniel, hmm, they are, they are talking about an experiment, Mm -hmm. Variations of experiments like this examining the infant, infant attention have been a standard tool of development psychology ever since the Swiss pioneer of the field, Jean, Jean Piaget, started experimenting on his children in 90 blah blah. Infants younger than nine months who have no innate, innate knowledge of how the world works or any sense of object permanence that people and things still exist when they see when they even even when they are not seen ah oh, sorry of oh, course i shall send you the questions Hmm. Very good. Very good. Very good. Yes, I can conclude my answer from here. Pia gets work. Let him to conclude that infants younger than nine months have no innate knowledge of how the world works or any sense of object permanence. Instead, babies must gradually construct this knowledge from experience. So, from here, I can understand that my answer is B. When Jean Piaget thinks babies only get the knowledge... Uh, here. Construct, constructivist theories are massively influential on post-war educators and psychologists. 
Hmm. Hmm. I told something yes. For this one, I will say, only, only get the knowledge when they had seen the same thing for a while, and I will put your E to when the previous things appear again in their lives. I will put C and E together and a question mark. You can do this. Okay, some cognitive scientists think babies have the mechanism to learn a language. Language, language, language. Hmm. Uh, massively influential and post for it. Uh, Educators and psychologists, plus over the year, 20 years or so, they have been largely set aside by a new generation of nativists, psychologists, and cognitive scientists whose more sophisticated experiments led them to theorize the infants arrive already equipped with some knowledge of physical world and even rudimentary programming for math and language. Baby Lab director Sylvian Sirois had been putting these smart baby theories through a rigorous set of tests. His conclusions so far tend to be more piagetarian. Babies, he says, know nothing. Let me locate it for you. It is, I think... Where, where are the sorry mm -hmm. here my answer is somewhere here I have A, A and E why do you say E? I will say A. Some cognitive scientists thinks, ba think babies have the mechanism to learn a language before they are born. Yes, this is the nativist cognitist, cognitivist. Let's continue. We have Sylvian Royce thinks that babies can reflect a response to stimuli that, that are novel. Novel means new. And Sylvian Royce thinks babies' attention level will drop. Babies have enough built-in knowledge to recognize that something is wrong.
His own experiments indicate that a baby's fascination with physically impossible events merely reflects a response to, to stimuli that are novel. Data from the eye tracker and the measurements of the pupils show that impossible events involving familiar objects are more interesting than possible events involving novel objects. In other words, when Daniel saw the red train come out of the tunnel green was a few times, he goes as bored as when it stayed in the same color. The mistake of previous research series has been to lead to the conclusion that infants can understand the concept of impossibility from the mere fact that they are able to perceive some novelty on in it. The, re the real explanation is boring, he says. I think I have seen my two answers here. D, D, D. Sylvian Cirrhosis thinks that babies can reflect a response to stimuli that are novel when facing the possible and impossible events. Very good. And Sylvian Cirrhosis thinks babies' attention level will drop Exactly. There was a we haven't read that part, but I think there was a red train that Daniel saw. They haven't changed it, maybe because, and then they said, oh, he wasn't looking at it, but the zero says, no, it was just boring. The kid get bored. Sylvian Cirrhosis thinks babies' attention level will drop when they had seen the same, whatever it is. Yes, when they had seen the same thing for a while. So they say they will get bored. So it makes my... Are we sure about it? Are we sure about the C? So it makes my answer, this one, E. Submit. Submit. Yay. We did 14 or 14. Okay, let me see, give me one second. I am sending you a post lesson survey. If you have any comments about the lesson, please do not hesitate to write it to us. We are trying to make it better, make our system better make our make the class still better so we will be very glad if you can share your um comments with us thank you too how was it was it easy difficult what do you think Moderate, I think so too. They are not that difficult because you have many keywords, you have your um, grammar knowledge. Oh. Let me see. You can't open the survey. I have sent it again. Maybe now you can view it. I mm, have a bot now.
The last paragraph was a little hard. Maybe it is. Because I have read the in university, I uh, studied like language teaching. So this was our subject, the Piaget and the other things. So for me, I was used to this subject, but I, I lost, I forget how to read the Piaget's name, Piaget. Piaget, maybe. When you have done the survey, this is, it will be the end of my session. Means what? What? Piaget is the name of the uh, scientists. Huh. Uh, server, yes, you can, or... Yes, you can, or you can just find your own style. Maybe your own style will be um, will be reading the whole things of all the end sentence endings, and you will be more relaxed in that way. Or you can you can apply this strategy too. It's up to you, actually. I advise you to solve. Uh, and it was you to practice question this kind of questions so you can let me see so you can find your own style let me share your classes library and you can find more practices from there Okay, everyone, that's all from me. Thank you very much. Have a good, nice day. Bye.